space is not silent anymore. In the vast, frozen emptiness between planets, something ancient and luminous is moving closer to our star, and it's not behaving like any comet NASA has ever seen. It's called 31A Tadlas, a celestial object once believed to be a dying fragment of rock and ice. But over the past few weeks, NASA and the European Space Agency have detected something that challenges every known law of astrophysics. 31A Tadlas is interacting with the Sun. When scientists first observed it, the comet appeared ordinary, a faint glow, a typical tail of dust. But as it neared the inner solar system, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a sudden spike in temperature and an emission of high-frequency radio pulses that coincided perfectly with solar flares erupting from the Sun's surface. At first, astronomers thought it was coincidence, until it happened again. Each time the sun released a burst of plasma, 31A Tatlas responded, glowing brighter as if feeding off the energy. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory began capturing stunning images. Magnetic waves from the sun seemed to bend and realign whenever 31A Tatlas entered a certain proximity. It was almost as if the comet was communicating with the sun. Dr. Delane Carter, one of the lead astrophysicists at NASA's Goddard Center, described it like this. We're seeing a feedback loop. The sun emits energy, and 31A Tatlas reacts as though it understands. It's not random. It's rhythmic, purposeful. Within days, solar observatories around the world were on high alert. The comet's brightness increased by 400%, despite being farther from the sun than Mercury. But then something even stranger happened. The sun's magnetic field began to fluctuate in a way no model could explain. Some scientists believe 31A Tatlas was acting as a magnetic conduit, amplifying solar energy and directing it into deep space. But others, especially those monitoring radio frequencies, noticed patterns in the emissions. When converted into sound waves, the signals produced a hauntingly structured rhythm. It wasn't static. It wasn't random. It sounded like a code. NASA's Deep Space Network began decoding the pulses, and what they found left them speechless. The sequence of frequencies mirrored the periodic cycles of our Sun's activity, as if 31A Tatlas was mapping, or perhaps modulating, solar behavior. Was this a form of energy exchange? A natural process we'd never witnessed? Or was this something intelligent, something alive? For the first time in modern space exploration, NASA issued a global observation request to all major telescopes on Earth and in orbit. The Webb Telescope, the Hubble, and even the Parker Solar Probe were directed to monitor the phenomenon. Within 72 hours, all systems recorded the same shocking result. Each time 31A Tatlas aligned magnetically with the Sun's poles, solar activity intensified by nearly 15% and each time it drifted away, the sun's storms calmed. It wasn't coincidence anymore. Something, or someone, was controlling this connection. When NASA ran a deep spectrum analysis of the light patterns, they found an unknown chemical compound in the comet's tail. Not ice, not rock, not any material known to Earth. It absorbed radiation, stored it, and then released it in measured intervals. To Dr. Carter's team, this was no longer a comet. It was a solar energy converter, a machine, or perhaps a being designed to interact with stars. The revelation hit the world like a shockwave. If 31A Tatlas wasn't just a natural object, then what or who sent it? By the time 31 Atlas reached the orbit of Mercury, the sun itself had begun to change. NASA's solar observatories detected new frequencies in the solar wind, frequencies that didn't exist in any known radiation pattern. It was as if the sun was responding. But how could our star communicate? The answer, scientists believe, lies in the electromagnetic resonance between the two bodies. 31 Atlas was creating a bridge, a channel of sorts, allowing energy and information to flow in both directions. For weeks, scientists tracked this connection, and what they discovered next sent chills across every control room on Earth. 31 Atlas began to alter its own orbit. 
Instead of continuing on its predictable elliptical path, it slowed down, then curved, directly aligning itself between Earth and the Sun. This was physically impossible. No comet should be able to resist the Sun's gravitational pull without breaking apart. But 31 Atlas didn't break. It stabilized. Within hours, strange solar phenomena erupted. Sunspots appeared in symmetrical formations, and plasma arcs began to pulse in perfect synchronization with the object's movements. The entire solar corona seemed to vibrate in response. To the untrained eye, it was a beautiful cosmic ballet. To scientists, it was something far more profound, an intelligent display of control. Data from the Parker Solar Probe revealed that the energy patterns emitted from 31 Atlas were harmonizing with the sun's natural rhythm, adjusting the intensity of solar flares and even reducing radiation toward Earth. In other words, it was managing the sun's output. NASA and ESA called an emergency briefing. Dr. Carter's statement was clear. Either 31 Atlas is a technology designed to stabilize stars, or it's alive and protecting its source of energy. But how could our star communicate? Just as that question echoed around the world, a massive wave of gamma radiation was detected entering the solar system, a cosmic burst from deep space heading straight toward the sun. And then, 31 Atlas did the impossible. It moved directly into the path of the gamma burst and absorbed the radiation. The event lasted 12 minutes. Every telescope on Earth recorded a blinding surge of light as the comet expanded, glowing brighter than Venus, pulsing with energy so intense it distorted nearby spacecraft sensors. When the radiation wave finally passed, 31 Atlas dimmed and returned to its orbit as if nothing had happened. It had protected the sun. It had shielded our solar system. NASA's control rooms erupted in disbelief. Was this an act of defense, a reaction, or something intentional. The data was undeniable. 31 Atlas wasn't destroyed. It was stronger. Its tail grew longer, its magnetic field expanded, and its radio pulses shifted from rhythmic beats to structured sequences, ones that closely resembled the Fibonacci patterns found in biological life. Then came the final transmission. The deep space network detected a repeating signal. Three pulses, then one long tone, followed by a silence over and over again. 3, 1, 31. 31 Atlas was identifying itself. It was as if it was announcing its presence. Today, NASA has officially listed 31 Atlas as an unclassified celestial intelligence. No one knows what it truly is, a living organism, an ancient machine, or a guardian designed to protect stars from cosmic destruction. But one thing is certain, it's doing something with our sun. And that something might be the reason we still exist. Because maybe, just maybe, 31 Atlas isn't a threat. Maybe it's a protector, an ancient cosmic entity ensuring that the light of our sun never dies.